In the last video, we reviewed all of the featured content slider settings, and now we're ready to add the selected images to each page that we want to add to the featured content slider. I'm going to start from the very beginning on this by uploading the images that I want to use from my computer to the WordPress Media Library. After I upload these images, we'll add the images to their respective web pages. From the WordPress dashboard, I'm going to hover over the Media tab. Then, I'm going to click on the text for Add New. This will bring up the page for uploading new media. Now, I just need to drag and drop my image files inside the dotted lines. Another easy way to quickly select and upload all of the files simultaneously is to hold the control key down while left clicking one at a time on each of the images. This will allow you to select multiple files for simultaneous upload. The images should load fairly quickly, especially since I've optimized them for the internet by reducing the file size of each one. Keeping your image files as small as possible will make your page load speed much quicker. Each image being used is about 20 kilobytes in size. Okay, now that the images are uploaded, we can add each image to the respective page. I've already opened the pages we need in four individual tabs. Let's take a look at one of these pages. Since we're logged into WordPress, we can see a WordPress menu at the top of the page. When we click Edit, we're taken to the Edit Screen page. So our objective at this time is to associate the image we want to use in our featured content slider with this page. Here's how it's done. First, we need to navigate over to the media that we just uploaded and copy the URL of the image we're going to use. From here, I'm going to right click on Edit and open this in a new tab. This will allow me to move back and forth while I'm doing all of this. Once the tab is open, navigate to it and copy the URL of the image. Now, we can X out of this page and move over to the tab of the page where we'll add this image. Next, we need to locate the field that's titled Additional Options for Suffusion, which is located down a ways. Click on the tab titled Images, and now paste the URL into the field labeled Featured Image. Now we'll update the page. That's it for this page. The featured image will now show up in the featured content slider. Placing the image in this section will not change the look of the page, but it will add the selected image to the featured content slider as long as this web page has been selected to show in that featured content slider as previously discussed. Now, let's do the same thing for the other web pages. We'll open the media page for the image in a new tab. Copy the URL of the image. Move over and click on the tab for the respective page. Locate the field that is titled Additional Options for Suffusion. Click on the tab titled Images. And now paste the URL into the field labeled Featured Image. And now we'll update this page. Two more to go. We'll open the media page for the image in the new tab. Copy the URL for the image. Move over and click on the tab for the respective page. Locate the field that's titled Additional Options for Suffusion. Click on the tab titled Images and now paste the URL into the field labeled Featured Image. And now we'll update this page also. We're on the last one. We'll open the media page for the image in the new tab. Copy the URL for the image. Move over and click on the tab for the respective page. 
locate the field that's titled Additional Options for Suffusion, click on the tab titled Images, and now paste the URL into the field labeled Featured Image. Now, we'll update this page. Great, everything's complete. Let's go over to the Suffusion settings for one minute. Click on Suffusion Options in the left navigation. From the Suffusion dashboard, click Other Graphical Elements, and then we'll click Featured Content. First, we'll scroll down to the section titled Static Pages with Featured Content, and we'll make sure that we've selected the page that we want our Featured Content slider to show on. OK. Now we'll scroll down to Select Pages to make sure that we've selected all of our correct pages that will show in the slider. It looks like all of the correct pages are selected. If we change anything here, we'll need to update this by saving the new settings. Everything looks real good, so we've completed the setup and we're ready to take a look at the page that contains the featured content slider. Let's open the website in a new tab. Now we can click on the respective page from the navigation. There you have it, the featured content slider. As the images scroll, the user can click on an image and it will take them to the respective web page. In the next video, I'm going to show you an amazing feature of Suffusion that will allow you to set a featured content slider in any widget that you want to put on your website. The possibilities of this feature are too numerous to show, but in the next video, we'll go over the basic setup.